when you first log into the Ultranet, you come up with your own home page. Now, anytime you're anywhere else in the, the Ultranet, you can actually go to your home page by clicking on this little home icon down in the bottom left, which will bring back to your home page. Now in your home page you can put a range of these different portlets here, notices or um, other viewers and you can customise that as much as you like. You also have some other things you can do in your home page. You can go to your express space and depending on the features you have you might have different buttons to click to go there. But in your express space you have again things you can add to your page. This page here you can actually share with people if you so desire. You can have your own blog there, slideshow, or a range of other things you can put on there. You also have a portfolio space, which I'll click on. Your portfolio space is where you could create a, you know, maybe your own portfolio of work that you've collected over the years, professional learning maybe, papers you've written if you've done any uh, further study. Uh, it just draws it all together. And you also have a profile. Now the profile, whatever you type in here, is accessible to the students uh, ac across the state who might look at your profile and your learning partners or neighbours, so they can actually see a little bit about you. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you the other spaces that are, are around. Uh, currently all this that we've looked at is in the express space, which is accessible from down the bottom here. Uh, again, to go back to your home page, you click over here, but there are several other spaces and, and icons along the bottom here which do different things. The collaborative learning space is where you'd create a classroom where you want students to access. Uh, the community is a place where you can create pages for um, both students and staff and also the wider community as parents and other educators in other schools. And the design space, again, is very similar to the others except students are excluded and parents are excluded from this space. So you can actually create spaces that are just for your colleagues at school or colleagues across the state. The other icons here are My Content, which lists everything that you've uploaded and how much space you've got left. Uh, and the little push button finger here allows you to add applications and change layouts and manage your pages. And also the control panel here allows you to do a range of different things, uh, including add little um, surveys and as well as finding people and going to the Basto Institute, going to your Edgemail and things like that. And with the next release, there'll be a range of other um, things that you can do as well. So let's just go quickly to a community space. When you click on community space, uh, it will bring up the names of communities you're already uh, a, a part of. Or when you click on this one here, it'll it will open up spaces that only you own, which I'll click on now. And to go to any of those spaces, you can just click on any of the buttons here. I'm just going to click on this uh, space here that I'm a member of and an owner of. Now, before I go there, you'll notice some of these are open and some are restricted. An open site means anyone can go in there and access it and become a member. A restricted space you need to invite someone to, and there's, otherwise they can't see it. But there's also um, closed spaces as well that only you can see. Within your space you'll see there's a number of tabs along the top that you can create depending on what you're doing and as you click on each of these tabs uh, it will bring up separate pages that you've actually uh, loaded there which I'll click on now and you can see whatever you've loaded on those pages will come up. Each of these little sub uh, sections are called portlets and they, you can have things like blogs, wikis, publication displays. There's a range of different things you can add there and it's up to you how you put them. Many schools however will have a pre-arranged series of pages to make it easier for teachers. I'll just go through in a minute how you'd actually set up your own particular space but that's just a bit of an overview of what um, what spaces are. Just a reminder that there's space for students and teachers, your own personal space, uh, a space for the wider community including educators and parents, 
which you can con control, a space only for educators, and a space that shows you your content and how you can actually alter the settings of your site. Now if you want to make your own space, let's just go to a design space here. So it's a space only for uh, teachers. You want to create your own space, so you're going to, we're going to add a design space here by clicking on add a design space. And it's recommended that you use the title of your school. I'll just try that again. And then who's it's for? And we'll call it a playground space. And you should put a description in there. Access means it's open means anyone can go there. Or restricted means uh, they have to be invited or invite themselves. Private means only you can see it. So we're just going to leave it as uh, open for the moment. You can have some pre-designed spaces, but we'll start with a blank one. And you should put some tags in about what it is, but we'll skip that. Click Save. And it has actually created a space for us. Now the, the process for creating a space is the same in each of your areas, student, personal, community or design. You'll notice now that this space now comes up. Oh, there's two open spaces here, the, which is the playground, my design space, which was just when I first started. Oh, I'm going to delete that later. So let's just go in here now, have a look at it. You'll see the background is blue. All the design spaces have the same background so that you know where you are. And the page is blank, there's nothing there. There's a little home tab here that I'll just move over, you can see. Uh, so there's only one page. So if you want to add a page, you can... Now to create another page, you just click on the little icon there, the plus, and you can just put whatever you want to put, page two, click save. And let's just go back to the home page. It looks like we're already on the home page and you can change the number if you want to, we'll just leave it as it is. Now we want to add some content. So to add some content we scroll down at the bottom of the screen here and on the little design button here and click add applications. This brings up this little doozy whacker here and it has a range of different tools you can add. The collaboration things are usually things where anyone can post to uh, and, and edit. Uh, content management is usually when you are the owner of the site or other owners are adding stuff News will link you to uh, wider things if you put some of these on, they're already pre-linked to news or notices that come in from the groups you're involved in. People will show you who's members of your sites, uh, who your contacts are and, and a range of things like that. And tools at the bottom will add a range of other things including calendars, breadcrumbs, Google Maps um, and, and poll displays and a range of different things like that. So the first thing we're going to do is add some a range of different things to this area, but this will be covered in our next tutorial. So log on and have a look at the next tutorial, which will be about publication display. See you next.